right, James, I've known you a million years and I know very well that what you really like in life is being lectured at, isn't it? <laughs> Don't we all? Don't <laughs> yeah. we all love to be told what to Guess do? what's coming. Ah, here we go. Right. This is not just for you. This is for every single person that takes part in our sport. I'll try not right. to be offended. This is the attitude thing, okay? You say I've got an attitude. This is the attitude. <laughs> I'd like you to have this one. Within our sport, you can be, as long as you stick to the safety, ethics and legal parameters that, that are insisted upon, you can be anything you want at any level you like. Any level of dedication and commitment is fine because this is for fun. The difference is when, we, when it comes to shooting live quarry, there is only one standard and that's the best you can be at the time you release that shot. I mean, this is for the quarry's benefit, you say? Yes. It's because we owe it to the quarry to do... We owe it to the quarry, we owe it to our sport, we owe it to ourselves yep. to do this properly. If you want to enjoy a, a day plinking on the range or just messing around with your mates, a little informal target shooting, a bit of plinking with a pistol, that is magnificent. But when, it, when you go in hunting mode, things change. At the moment of delivery, that shot has to be the best it can be. Or it doesn't go. And there's the yeah. big one. It doesn't go. Make sure those pellets are the best match for your rifle. Make sure when you're setting that trigger up that it's exactly right for you. In an ideal world, you shouldn't ever be surprised that that animal has fallen over. You shouldn't go, blimey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> didn't think that happened. That should never happen. Yeah. The actual shot phase should be the most clinical, absolutely foregone conclusion of the whole thing. If it's not, get closer. Yeah, yeah. Do everything you can to and get closer. Sometimes that means you're going to let something run away. You're going to let it run away because you, you yeah. couldn't set up the circumstances to ensure that you're going to take a clean shot. And I know there'll be people watching this saying, oh, yeah, but if I did all that, I'd never get a shot. Well, that's fair enough. Im improve the rest of it. There is no sort of second rate standard we're hunting. It's the best you can be. And however far out that is, is up to how good you are and how much you train and, and how much you develop. It's not up to the to rifle. This thing here will put pellets through a, a wedding ring at 55, 60 yards all day long. We won't yeah. under hunting conditions. Yeah, yeah. So we've no problem with equipment. We've no problem with, with the hardware. We can buy that in. What we can't buy in is responsibility and training, and we must deliver those, and they're fun, as I hope I've shown you. Yeah. So you didn't mind me lecturing you then? It's you did, didn't you? too much. You resented a little bit of it. Yeah. Who the hell does he think he is? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's been a pleasure um, no, being next year. Absolutely. And uh, I hope you take something from it. I'm sure you will. Definitely. And um, I've got something to go and practice at now as well. Here's to the next lesson.